My name's Lyman Connor and I live in Virginia. I bought my own 3D printer and of course like some of the first things I started doing was making nice little things off Thingiverse or GrabCAD and then we came to October 3rd. I was out on a scheduled bike ride with a Blue Ridge Bicycle Club and I had a serious bicycle accident. And when I woke up I was in the Neuro Intensive Care Unit and I tried to lighten it up by stating like, hey, it can't be that bad, look at my face, look at all these scars. And the young gentleman in the elevator raised his hand and said, at least you were born with your whole hand. And I really didn't have any words for him. But what it did is it struck a chord with me. A, a full bionic hand was anywhere from fifty to $70,000. And I was like thinking that I can make something more affordable. And then I started piecing together the hardware and the software. And Eureka moment is like, yeah, I, I can make this happen. Wow, I wish I would have got a name. I wish I would have remembered the clarity of his face. It would be great to meet this young man again. So if you do by chance see this message, please contact me and I'd like to help you out. The Bee Bionic Hand from Steeper combines ease of control with elegance of design. It is the world's most advanced prosthetic hand. Each digit has an individual motor to allow it to move like a human hand, creating compliant and conformable grips around everyday objects. Advanced electronics provide fine control. The thumb has two positions manually placed by the user with an inbuilt sensor detecting the position. With fully proportional speed control, the user can master delicate tasks such as holding an egg. Folding links allow the fingers to flex for natural function and appearance. The B-Bionic hand offers up to 14 grip patterns for versatility and unrivaled performance. In power grip, all four fingers close with the thumb providing additional grip security. This allows spherical and cylindrical objects to be held securely and also provides a handshake. In a partially closed power grip, the hook grip is achieved. This is ideal for carrying a shopping bag or briefcase. In precision open grip, the middle, ring and little fingers stay open. The thumb closes part way and the index finger moves independently to pick up small objects quickly and accurately. In precision closed grip, the middle, ring and little fingers close. The thumb closes part way and the index finger moves independently to pick up small objects with precision. not available in other prosthetic hands. Mouse grip allows the user to hold and operate a computer mouse. The hand takes a secure grip of the mouse whilst the index finger operates the mouse button. Again for the first time in a prosthetic hand. Users can hold and operate a trigger activated device such as a household cleaning spray or a hairdryer. Fingerpoint allows natural use of the index finger for inputting a pin number, pressing a button, or typing on a keyboard. Key grip is ideal for holding thin, flat objects such as a CD or turning a key in a lock. The fingers move together naturally as the hand closes creating finger adduction grip. 
This allows the user to grip thin objects, such as cutlery or a toothbrush, between the fingers. In tripod grip, or three-jaw chuck, the index and middle fingers meet the thumb to pick up a variety of everyday objects. In pinch grip, the index finger and thumb close together to allow the user to pick up small objects such as coins, pens and keys. In column grip, the fingers flex and are held in position by the thumb. Providing a fixed column point to firmly press a button or operate a lever. With the thumb non-opposed, the hand is fully open to provide a flat palm suitable for carrying a plate. The relaxed position closes the hand slightly for a more aesthetic appearance. Be Bionic Hands strike the perfect balance of innovative technology with lifelike appearance. Bionics is looking to take its share. Sales are accelerating. In 2012 saw turnover reach over $16 million. But for David Gao, it's more than a business. I've seen hundreds of people. There's, there's the, the father that says, thank you. On behalf of his son. And, um, you know, that means an awful lot. Because um, you don't, as an engineer, get many moments where you can um, articulate your um, 
human emotions about these things. We sometimes forget what vital and complex tools our hands are. It's been one of the great challenges of modern prosthetics to mimic them. In doing so, the next generation of bionic hands is transforming thousands and thousands of lives. This is the prosthetic hand of Dennis Arbo Sorensen, and it's very unusual. In fact, it's unique. The first time they, they uh, turned it on and we worked with the, with the new hand, it, it was uh, amazing because suddenly I could feel things uh, that I haven't been able to, to for so many years, and, and it was uh, a kind of, you could feel round things and hard things and soft things, and that was quite amazing. Yes, this is the first bionic hand that allows the wearer to feel. It was developed by a team from the Swiss Ecole Polytechnique Federale de Lausanne and Scala Superiore Santa Ana in Pisa, and uses a computer to translate sensor information from the fingers of the hand to nerve signals which can be interpreted by the brain. The, the hand has several sensors attached to each tendon of each finger, and we can use these sensors to understand the level of force the patient was performing while grasping an object. And we use this force information to deliver very precise stimulation to the different sensory nerves in order to restore this real-time sensory feeling into the nervous system. After some preliminary tests, Dennis tried the hand every day for a week in early 2013, with quite remarkable results. He quickly learned to differentiate hard objects from soft and the shape of any item he was holding. The problem now is that the device is a little too clunky to leave the lab. The next step is to make it smaller and probably more robust before it's ready to meet the outside world and give it a bloody good touching.